Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video on creating a custom template in AM Forms for your adaptive forms. So the reason why you may want to create a custom template is because when you initially author a, let's say, blank form, you know, you add fields uh, and components that overall define the form structure, uh, the form content. So with the template editor, you can create a uh, template that can, that contains basic structure and initial content that authors can use to create forms. So it will load by default uh, because you're using a predefined template. So let's say you create a template that just contains the header and footer uh, with you know relevant information of your company. Uh, that can be accomplished, and that might be a very good use case for why you'd want to create a template in the first place. So let's go ahead and uh, create a template. Let's get into it. So in order to create a custom template, you have to go to Tools, and then under General, you'll click on Templates. Then I'm going to go into my Adaptive Form Templates folder. And then from here, we see we have three uh, templates already. They came out of the box for me, so um, they're created by default. So to create your own, we'll click on Create. And then we can base this template off of another template, which will be the adaptive form uh, template. We'll click next. And then template title, we'll call this new template test. Click on create and then open. So it's going to load in a similar lo loadout to um, as if you're creating a form, uh, but we're creating a template for our forms. So in this template, I'm just going to add a header and footer, and I can scroll down and do just that. So I can add a header and a footer. So now we can add a image uh, to our header. Let's go down to our assets, and I will add in this logo right here. We can also change the name of our uh, header. Let's say organization's name, and uh, Another reason why you may want to use a template is because if, let's say, your organization's logo changes, you can just make the edit in the source template, and it'll be rolled out to any uh, form that is using uh, this template. So you don't have to go to all maybe 100 forms to change something as simple as a logo. You can just make that change once, and it'll be rolled out uh, automatically, which is really nice. Then I'm going to make this uh, 2020. Um, we could also limit the type of components we want to be used on this form. Uh, this varies based off use case, but if you only want maybe, I don't know, text boxes uh, to be used in certain parts of your form, that can be set. Um, I might get to that in a different video, uh, but today it's kind of a show off the very basic uh, features and functionalities of creating a custom template and, you know, kind of why you may want to do that. So after we have our template created, I can exit out of here, it's been saved automatically, and now before we can actually use this template, we have to enable it. We can see right now it is labeled as a draft by this yellow uh, banner at the top. So I'll click on the template, and we will enable it to be uh, used by our authors. We can see it's been enabled now because it's now green, and to use this template, we will go and create a form and test it out, make sure everything is working as intended. So we can see now it has uh, appeared, it's loaded, and we can select it from these other uh, templates. So we can choose the template we just created, we can click on next, we can just call this test, and then we'll hit on create. And click on edit and then we can see we have the header and footer loaded for us by default we cannot delete these uh, either because they are part of the template they're embedded within it uh, the only way we can remove them is by using or by removing them from the original source template so your authors will not be able to change uh, anything here this is all contained within again that original source template 
but we can still you know build out the form as normal by just dragging and dropping uh, you know as many text boxes or fields as needed awesome so that's going to wrap up today's video uh, thank you guys uh, so much for watching I hope this uh, gave you some further insight into how we can create custom templates if you like the video please uh, leave a like a comment and please subscribe so have a nice day bye bye